Hello friends, welcome back to another video. In this video, I will be providing you the solution of our challenge Diwali in the arcade first module first lab which is going to be classify images of clouds in the cloud with auto ML images. Before starting your solution, I simply want to inform you that you have lab to you have start here, don't skip this lab, it's called solution will be found. And link of this solution is in the description box, you can check it And also, if you have not done this challenge, then it's a Diwali special event and for on completing this event, you will be getting two arcade points. So uh, make sure you enroll in this and how to enroll, that video particular particular that you can also access from the link in the description box. Just like enroll for it. So let's start the lab. Start the lab. Ko open the lab. And uh, right now I am getting the green tick beside my lab because I was making solution first solution. Then there was an audio error. I had to reshoot the video again. So I have got the green tick in the lab. But I will tell you the whole solution. How you get the green tick. Okay. So let's start the lab. Click on the start lab button. Wait for it to get started. Once you get the credentials, simply copy the password from here. This is the password. You copy it. Then right click upon open Google Cloud Console and open it in an incognito window only. Incognito window may he open it. Okay. And email ID will be automatically pasted up. So don't worry about this. Simply click on the next button and paste the password that we just copied. Here we paste it. Enter it. Wait for a couple of seconds. Click on the I understand and you get logged in into your Google Cloud account. Okay. In Google Cloud Console, you will log in. Wait for the terms and condition to be pop up. Here, terms and condition will come in Click on agree and continue. Click on this. Okay. Agree and continue. Then after that, you need to activate your cloud shells. Click on this activate cloud shell button. This one, right corner. And wait for the connection to be established. Click on the continue. Now, while it's establishing this connection, simply come back to the lab. When the cloud shell is activated, we have to come back to the lab. And go to the description of this video. You have to go to the description of the video and there you will find the link. Okay. So open that and that link would be of the GitHub repository. This GitHub repository will be linked to and this GitHub repository contains the whole solution. All you need to do is open the link. It will be directed you to this and then simply copy this. Okay. Copy this by clicking on this copy raw file button. Okay. Simply copy it. Once you copy the code, simply come back to the lab. Click on content button. And paste the code that we just copied. Okay. Paste the code in the terminal and hit enter button. Click on other things. And simply wait for this command to get executed. And don't worry, if you have any error in this command, if it shows any error, then simply ignore that error and wait for this command to execute. When this command is executed, we will simply wait for this command. And once this command gets executed, I will meet you in the video. It will take more time, 1 minute or 2 minutes to get executed. So, till that time, what you can do, go to the video and hit the like button. Okay? And you will see that the command is executed. Our command is executed. How I get to know? This yellow color code is the same way that our command is executed. Simply come back to the the lab now slow down a little bit okay slow down keep scrolling to the task number one and in the task number one click on the check my progress you will get the green tick here okay once you get the green tick simply uh, jump to the task number three and, and in the uh, task number three of the fifth point you will see a link vertex ai data set uh, tab so you need to right click upon this link and open it in incognito window incognito window may he open karengi dhyan rakhna here we need to create a new data set wait for it to get loaded once the dashboard gets loaded, we will create a new data set. Okay. Click on this create button. Now, instead of this data set name, select it, remove it and give any name. I am giving the being notified name, which is my channel name. Now, scroll down. Make sure it is set to the single label classification and click on create button. Now, the data set creation will take around 3 to 4 minutes. If data set create only 3 to 4 minutes, you need to wait. Once the data set get created, you will automatically redirect it to a different page. Just like your data set will create, you will get a successful creation message and your page will automatically refresh. The interface will change. Simply sit back, relax, wait for 3 to 4 minutes. And in that time, what you can do? Go to the video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button so you won't be missing any update or upcoming information of the latest update. Okay. So now sit back and sit back and relax, and I will meet you in the video once the data set get created. But this ke baad hum ek kam aur karna hoga aur hamari puri life complete ho jayegi. Okay. So now, as you can see, our data set is created, and you will be automatically redirected to this interface. After that, what you need to do? Simply scroll down, click on select import files from cloud storage, and you need to browse the files. So click on this browse. From here, select the second bucket, click on this arrow and import the data set to CSV. You need to select this data CSV and click on select button. After that, click on continue. Now, it will start to import this whole data set. Okay, wait for a couple of, yes. It started to, the progress to importing data, the data set and it will take around five, uh, four to five minutes. Okay, four to five minutes will take import to import. So, sit back and relax. And as your data set import will be your lab will be complete. So, you don't have to do anything. Four to five minutes, wait for it. After that, I will meet you in the video. Okay. So now our data set is imported and we will be redirected to the new interface. So, if you have to come to the interface, simply come back to the lab, scroll down, 
click on check my progress and you will get the green tick in this task. Once you get the green tick, your lab will be completed, your assessment is completed and your lab is also completed. You don't need to submit these options. You don't need to submit these options. You just need to check my progress on green tick, which you have got. Now you are good to go. Simply click on the end lab button. Click on end lab button once again. Give the star rating that you want to give. Click on the submit button. And come back to main page to verify whether we get the green tick or not. Main page पे आएंगे check करेंगे green tick मिला या नहीं. Lab में जब तक green tick नहीं मिल जाता तब तक हम उसे completed नहीं मान सकते. तो scroll down करना. Open the module and you will see that you get the green tick beside your lab. It means you successfully completed this lab. So if you like the video, make sure you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and if you have any query, you can ask me in the comment box or on the WhatsApp group. Thank you very much. Good bye.